So good. I mean, everything about this record. I mean, obviously the songs are fantastic. You you can really hear the, the you know the doo wop influence, early R and B influence. You know, the cover art is so important. Again, like positioning him in place, right? Standing underneath the sign of Soto, um, against a wall where there's tags, right? So that this record becomes an additional tag. The songs become kind of sonic tags on the wall of Los Angeles. He represented that also that Chicano freedom, you know, that new neo-Chicano. It's a holistic way of looking at life and art, that it's all a performance. You're always on stage. You've got a special responsibility to be a creative, funky soul in the universe and to rescue all that has been lost across the centuries, all that's been taken away from us, all the way till today. That's been his project, putting us on the map and tracing the contours on that map and showing us who we are to ourselves and to the rest of the world. He took such a different path. I can't even begin to imagine how many doors he opened for Latinos without ever realizing what was going on. I wanted to go check out the ancient ruins of Palenque in Chiapas. So I was looking for the bus station and I asked this older gentleman on the street for directions. He asked me where I'm from. I say, Los Angeles. He looks at me like I'm some kind of lowlife and says, oh, you're one of those American pochos. I tell him, no, I'm Chicano. He says, even worse, Chicanos don't have a culture. They're mongrels. I was so shocked, I didn't know what to say. A couple of days after my encounter with that old guy in Guadalajara, I made it over to Palenque. Man, that place really blew my mind. I felt this intense connection to my ancestors, a journey in my family, all leading up to my life at that moment. I decided to climb the temple of the inscriptions. And as I'm climbing, all these questions start coming up in my head like, what does it mean to be a Chicano artist? How can I make a difference with my work? What should I be doing with my life? Then I kind of had this epiphany. A Chicano artist would be someone who uses creativity to contribute to their culture and help shape it, kind of like a sculptor. Huh. That's when I knew. I knew what I was going to do, and I knew what I was, a Chicano culture sculptor.